guys, it's Beauty with Burt 14 here, and today what I'm going to do is a nice Thanksgiving pumpkin pie makeup tutorial, so I really hope that you guys enjoy this tutorial, and if you want to learn more, just stay tuned and keep on watching. So, what I usually start off with is my eyes. I apply a little bit of primer to my lid, a little bit in my crease, because we will be putting a lot of eyeshadow there, and just a little teensy-weensy under my brow bone. Then blend that all out. <laughs> Just like so. So then taking my LA Color 6 Color Eyeshadow Palette and in the nude. Taking my Soho New York London brush, I'm going to take this really nice taupe color right there and use that right on my lids. And this will really make your lids pop out when you put on all the eyeshadow. Then taking this peachy color, put that right under the brow bone in our corner. Then putting that on the inner corner brow bone. Then taking this sort of off-white eggshell color, put that right under the tail of the brow bone. Doing this will, like, from far away, this will sort of give an effect of a lifted brow. And then just blend that out with your fingers. Then taking my CoverGirl Coffee Shop Quad um, in 260. Taking this matte brown, just take any matte brown that you own. And then just take it. It's a dark sort of charcoal -y brown. Um, start smudging that out in your crease, starting at the end of the eye, working your way in, using the same Soho New York London brush, because it works good. Just like so. So that is the end of your pumpkin pie eye, but what you next want to do is just blend everything out to make sure that it's all blended and everything. So taking this big old fluffy brush that comes out of the, um, this, comes with a pack, it's a pack of four, I mean, pack of five. So it comes with five brushes. I can only find three at the moment, but it comes with five. I do not know how to pronounce it, but it's like Nakami or something. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong, I'm so sorry. But then you just wanna blend that out and even at the brow bone and inner corner. So then you're done with that. Then you just want to curl your lashes. Depending on how much curl you want, that's the time that you want to um, curl your lashes for. If you want more curl, I'd say go for about 10 seconds and pump it like that. If you want less curl, I'd say go for about 5 seconds and don't pump it. But I would want more curl, so I'm going to pump it. Because it is a special occasion. And I do not wear makeup every day. So, I'm not going to apply mascara, but if I were, I would apply this Jordania Best Slash Extreme Volumizing Mascara in 301 Black. It is such, such a great mascara. The next thing I would do, well, I'm going to do, is take my Iredell Mineral Cosmetics Blush in 301, I mean, in Mocha, the Pure Press Blush. And it seems sort of like a brown brush blush, but it's actually a very nice peachy sort of pinkish blush. So I'm taking my blush brush, with, which also came out of this. So I'm just applying that to my cheeks and working my way up. Just like so. So for the lips, I already put on a chapstick, so um, you can have a sort of a... Um, just a soft lip when you apply on your lipstick. So for the lipstick, I'm going to be taking my LA Colors lipstick in hot pink. So the reason I'm doing such a bold lip choice with this neutral eye is because I feel like it really balances each other. It really balances everything out. And I just really love the look of a neutral eye with a bold lip. I just feel like it's so, so, so gorgeous. Um, so that's your finished look. You have your pink lips, which are very bold, and they really pop out at you, so they'll really tie everything in the look together. You have your neutral eyes, which you can really wear anywhere, any occasion, because they just really look good with everything. So I really hope that you guys enjoy my makeup tutorial, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys!